everyone, welcome to my latest Skillshare class. I'm Jen Lazan and I will be your teacher for this course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. You may know me from my previous courses right here in Skillshare or from my YouTube channel, The Freelance Life, where I share behind the scenes of running my creative business as well as creative design and art tutorials. Aside from my work in graphic design and illustration, I really enjoy planning. I've shared previous classes on how to create your own digital stickers for digital planning, as well as how to create your own digital planner using Affinity Publisher. But for this class, I wanted to share another way that you can create your own digital planner using Affinity Designer and Keynote on your desktop. I wanted to share some of my tips, my knowledge, and help you build a digital planner that you can customize to your own needs. I also find that digital planners are less intimidating as you don't feel so much pressure when you're creating spreads in them because you can always just undo. And finally, digital planners are a bit more eco-friendly than your traditional paper planners as you can reuse them over and over and over again and they really make planning on the go super simple as you really don't need anything else other than your iPad and a stylus. So what is this class about? In this class, you will learn how to create a digital planner in Affinity Designer. I like using Affinity Designer for creating planners and printables because it's really easy to create with it. You can create precise shapes, space them evenly, add vector effects to the shapes, and export them super simply. While Affinity Designer doesn't have the linking function that Affinity Publisher does, you can still link your pages in an app like Keynote and then export that final file as a PDF for use in something like GoodNotes. It's also really easy to add dates to the planner and keep the numbers and shapes properly aligned using the Align tools, and we're gonna go over this in the class. You can choose to create either a dated or an undated planner as your class project. I'm gonna outline options for both, but we're basically gonna be creating an undated version just so that it's easier for people to update as they work through it. And this course is really a fantastic class to really hone in on your layout design skills and get more comfortable with Affinity Designer as you're gonna be going through the whole basic process of creating in the program and then you get a nice tangible product at the end that you can use. 